as an attacker, let's imagine that we just compromised this machine just now. Okay, this county Linux machine that we're logged into. Let's imagine that this that this um this terminal is our shell. Okay, this is this is our access to this computer. This is how we're controlling it. We can set in order to maintain persistence, in order to maintain our access to this computer, we can create a script, a program, and have it run at a certain time of the day, of the week, of the month, whatever, whatever duration, whatever time period, we can have it run <clears throat> so that every it could open up a port for us every five minutes, just in case we lose connection, just in case I shut this computer down and it's it goes bye-bye, right? So knowing that, if I could find my screen that I was on, okay. So understanding that what that is called on Linux is these are cron jobs. Cron jobs are, are, are how we schedule tasks on Linux. Okay, this is how we schedule our tasks with cron jobs. And if you wanted to look, let's say you, you had your, your Linux operating system running right now. If you typed in cron tab tab dash L you would get right now I only have one job here, but if you had a bunch, they would just be lined up like this. All right. And you're probably looking at this, like, what am I looking at? Hey, what's all those asterisks for? It's okay. So what this is saying here, right? And we're going to do this. We're going to test this out, but let's just break this down. Let's understand what we're looking at first before we test it out. So cron jobs, remember we're scheduling a task. We're scheduling something to happen. So over here, what we have, well, the first field right here is for minutes. That's why you have this M right here. The second field is for hours. The third field is for your day of the month. The fourth field is for the month. And then the fifth field is for the day of the week. So if you see a, an asterisk, which is also known as a wild card, it's every hour, every day of the month, every month, every day of the week. Okay. But right here we see slash five. This is every five minutes. So we are telling our cron scheduler that every five minutes we want you to run whatever is in this file we want you to run this script because this is a script all right this this dot sh is the extensions to a bash script and we're going to run it we're going to run it but every five minutes we want you to run this script that's what we have told um our our task scheduler to do all right, so let's, if I was an attacker, this script could be to open up a port every five minutes. It could be to run my malicious program every five minutes, which, op which is opening up a, a backdoor for me, or to create an account every five minutes, or to re-download my program every five minutes, just in case somebody's deleting it, okay? But what our script is doing Our script is going to remove everything by force out of this location. That's what our script is going to do. Now, what is exactly? So let's let's let me say that again. Our script. This is a bash script. Okay. This is a bash script. This is how we. Uh, I thought I was drawing. So this is a bash script. It's called remove files. And it is telling, well, this first line of code, we're telling the interpreter that this is a bash script, okay? Now, what the script is doing, remove is a command, rm, everything 
by force from this location. Okay, that is a location. It's also known as a directory. Okay, that location we'll go to right now. We're going to change directories. So we're going to CD, change directories to home, TO will lobby, CT. Okay. That's where we're removing files from. Let's go see what's in that directory. Employee personal information, passport information, social security numbers. All right, so this is what we're removing. Let's look at the cron job one more time. This is the name of the script is going to run. So we have to rename ours because ours is called re um, remove file. Okay, this is what ours is. So I'm just gonna rename it to test.sh because that's what this job is running, right? It is now test.sh. Now within the next five minutes, everything in this location should be removed. Okay, so I should have taken the time, right? It's 9.58. So we're gonna let that do its thing. From a defensive perspective, from a blue, blue teaming perspective, we wanna check our cron jobs. Okay, you wanna check your cron jobs. Why? Because this is a, this is a vector attackers can use to maintain their access, to maintain their persistence or to be, to be persistent. So we wanna check our cron jobs. How do we check it? We just do cron tab dash L. This is gonna give you the cron jobs for the current user. Okay, check your cron jobs. On the Windows operating system, it's not called cron jobs. It's the task scheduler. You can open this up yourself. Task scheduler. We have a similar setup here. We have this folder under downloads, under Cyber Thursdays, this folder of sensitive information, this script is created to delete everything in this folder, just like this script was created to delete everything in its folder. On the Windows operating system, you can set it up the same exact way, right? You give it a name, delete me, run it at a certain time, pick the time, start a program, pick the program we wanna run, the evil command program. and then it will run and execute, okay? And we'll check back on this. Oh, it deleted. I think that was every five seconds. Cause that was a, that was a quick five minutes. So as you can see, LS command list out all the contents in your current directory. I'm hitting LS, 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 and we're not getting anything. So check your cron jobs, y'all. Check your cron jobs. Make sure you know what is being scheduled in there. Make sure you know what's running, okay? What, are, what is this running? A lot of times you'll see companies, they'll have a backup script that is scheduled by their cron jobs, okay? So we use it for good things, but attackers, bad guys can use it for malicious purposes. So check your cron jobs.